Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today we're doing three reviews from North Star Games from their Happy Planet line. We're going to be doing games for the game Funky Chicken, the game Happy Salmon, and the game Monster Match. These games are going to be dexterity party games in which you're going to be doing different things in them. Some of them are going to involve moving and shaking, and some of them are going to involve quick hand movements. The games play from three to six players, but really you can play with as many as you want around a table. So let's go ahead and look at them. So here we have all three games, Monster Match, the game, Happy Salmon, and Funky Chicken. And as you can see, I've set up two of them, but just because I wanted to show you, you actually are going to be able to take these games out of their little pouches, respectively, and you're going to be able to use them. So you can actually, some of them will actually come with little clips like this one here that you can attach to your duffel bag or your luggage or whatnot. And the games are going to have different, uh, look at this, different little sides for each and every player. The base game for Funky Chicken and for Happy Salmon is going to come with six players available. However, there is in the Happy Salmon version, there's a blue one you can use that actually let you play with six more colors to make 12. And I assume they might do the same thing for Funky Chicken, depending on how well it does. But these are the games you're getting and they're all separated in the different game areas. Let's go ahead and talk about Monster Match first. This one over here is going to come with a stack of cards, the Zilch Token, Rule Book, and Two Die along with your little Monster Match, where you actually can open up his mouth and put all the stuff in. So it's kind of cute. But these are going to have monsters on them. They have eyes, they have teeth, they've got legs, and they've got hands. And on this die, it will show you what different body parts you'll be doing. So you're going to put down 10 monsters from this deck, and everybody's going to go around the table, and you're going to have each player roll these two dies uh, by themselves. So bam, five legs. Players are going to look on the board to find a creature with five legs and point at it. The first person to point at the monster is going to get to keep that monster. If two players... Um, uh, there's two different monsters here on the board that have five legs. Two players can do it as well. Also, if you roll the die and no monsters have these specific type of body parts or eyes or legs, uh, then you're going to actually have the first person touch the zilch token and they will actually get 10 more monsters put on the board so that the next player, when they roll, there's definitely going to be a monster with the certain amount of uh, legs or arms or eyes. And the game's going to continue while players are going to be taking monsters every round and putting them into their little pile to score. And you'll be using at the end of the game after all the monsters have been distributed out, that you'll see these little um, donuts here, and these are for points. So whoever has the most donuts at the end of the game is going to be the winner. And the game will end when I think there's about three monsters left or two monsters left. If we look over here at Happy Salmon and Funky Chicken, these games both play the same way. And in fact, you can add them together to play two... Uh, Two, two games in one. And everybody's going to basically get around in a circle and they're going to get a hand of cards. These cards are going to say certain things. This one in the Happy Salmon is going to say Happy Salmon, Pound It, Switcheroo, High Five, and uh, Pound It. These are the different cards in the game. You'll start like this and then one, two, three in a circle. You'll turn the cards around and you'll start doing different things. Happy Salmon, you'll do this. If you do Pound It, you'll do this. And if you do stuff like uh, Switcheroo, you'll do this. And there's going to be actions for each one. You have to find a partner to be able to do these different actions with. So for Pound It, you have to find somebody who wants to Pound It as well, making sure it's the top card on their stack. And if you Pound It, you throw the card to the ground and you go for the next one. And everybody's going to be doing this at the same time in a circle. So people are going to be switching around. People are going to be doing their little happy salmon together. People are going to be high-fiving. The first person to empty their hand of cards is going to be the winner of the game. He'll instantly call out Happy Salmon and he's the winner. If you want to play Funky Chicken, Funky Chicken has the same style of cards. You've got the Funky Chicken dance they do. They can do a butt bump. They can do a swing dance, a little swing around the uh, area. They can do a spin. And uh, that's the same kind of thing. They're all going to flip over at the same time and start calling things out, finding pairs or matches of people who also have the same card as them, dropping them to the ground. And like I said, if you want to get kind of funky with it, you can take all the cards of uh, one of the same color or different colors, however you want to do it, and flip them over and say, okay, funky chicken, pound it, funky chicken, pound it, bump, and trying to get all the cards down. But that's the basic idea with these guys. These guys are going to be a big circle and just throwing things around, throwing stuff on the ground. And this one over here is going to be a table party game with the dexterity of picking the cards that match the die. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with Monster Match the game. In this game, it has a bunch of little dexterity aspects and it works for anybody. All three of these games are family games in which you can just simply go around the table or go around in a circle and it takes you like three minutes to learn how to play the game and even less time to finish playing it. Monster Match takes a little bit longer because you go through a full deck of cards and it depends on how long you roll the dice and whatnot, but still very, very quick, really good gateway games. They've done some amazing work with these three and it's super fun. I 
I've always had a good time. There's never been a time where somebody wasn't laughing during any of these games. And you can play it at conventions, you can play it pretty much anywhere you want, and I've seen it been played everywhere. You can also attach these things to your luggage, you can carry them around with you, they're very very portable, and all of the monsters and all the different fish and the little chickens, they all look really cute, so they kind of work, they have that little uh, gift giving factor. So during this holiday season, if you have somebody that's kind of into games, but they don't really know, that they're more like the younger style games where you got a bunch of kids, this is going to be the game for you for sure, and it's going to teach you a little bit about hand-eye coordination, pointing to the monsters really quickly, and as well as determining whether or not things are actually on the table or not, and hitting that little zilch button in time and uh, you can lose points too I believe if you do not hit the correct monster so you have to be aware of that otherwise you'll lose the top monster of your stack of cards. Happy Salmon can be a little rambunctious so you gotta be careful not to be bumping into people and, and accidentally pounding somebody in the face <laughs> so that does typically not happen however it, it might so you gotta be careful not to have too many people I suppose getting too crazy with it. The Funky Chicken one is all about dancing it functions just like Happy Salmon so if you like Happy Salmon and you want to try something that has a little more um, little more movement in it or even mixing the two together that would work great as well if you don't like dexterity games these are the games to stay away from if you don't if you want a more thick or involved strategy game also something that probably not gonna like as well but for me these games have been amazing I've been able to play with anybody I've got with my grandma to play the funky chicken game I've got all of my nephews and nieces to play the, the uh, monster matching game and I personally enjoyed it every single time I played with them and it was always a nice refreshing experience to where I didn't have to go into a deep amount of deep amount of strategy or deep amount of rules explanation these games are going to be like that for you as well excellent for gifts excellent for younger kids and as well as people who just want to have a good old-fashioned party game you can even throw a little bit of drinks in there in the mix for a more um, older adult party and still have a good time with this as well but overall I give all three of these games my extreme stamp of approval these are definitely games I'm going to be keeping in my collection and I strongly suggest you check them out